What's up guys, it's Andrew from Motorcycles Off-Road, and last week I did an event called the Icebreaker Dual Sport Event, and it wasn't a race, but it was 60 miles off-road and a hero section. So from my understanding, this event was to raise money for the club for future events later this year. And based on the ticket for the t-shirts that they give out when you sign up, there was 204 riders, which is pretty awesome. Overall, this event wasn't too bad. I did see a couple falls, but if you're well-versed in riding in sand, it wasn't too bad. The hero section was the most fun for me for the day, and uh, things to note, I'm riding a 230-pound motorcycle, and I also have Tusk D-Sport tires, which is probably the hardest compound tire you could use for this type of uh, riding. Maybe not the best. Oh, shit. You all right? You want help? What always seems to amaze me about the 300L and the Rally is how awesome it is in the low end and how this thing just climbs hills in second gear. I got up to a hill and I accidentally was in second. I should have been down the first. So I covered my clutch about the feather then in case it started the bog and she just went right up it with no problem at all. For a nice little engine here, these guys, they really hang well when it comes to low end torque, hill climbs, stuff like that. Dude, this thing can climb anything in second gear. <laughs> this thing just tractors through everything. Though this section would have been so much more suited for my KDX 200, my trail bike, well, since there was like 60 miles of like road sandy type stuff, I felt that, you know, the rally would probably be the best and most fun choice. Although, like I said, it's not really built for this type of riding. But I am confident if you wanted to use this motorcycle for adventuring and just riding through gravel roads, going across like the country and something like the Trans-American Trail, this is probably the best tool for the job. With the long service intervals, I can basically go anywhere and it gets up to highway speed without a problem in the small sections of which you would need to do that. I think the 300L Rally is like a great bike all around for this type of riding. I did have one mishap though, which I'll show you guys in a future video. I also have the Tusk D-Sport tire review coming. And I think the only struggles I did have was based on the Tusk D-Sport tires. And like I said, we'll talk about that in a future video. It's just a short little video I wanted to put out there, talk about the event, and show you guys what I've been up to. So I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs> I love this sport, because look, you got old people out here on bikes they can't even like. <laughs> look at that guy. He probably gets it. <laughs> old school two-stroke. <laughs> I can hear you. Yeah, that's the problem with this kind of stuff, right? It makes you want to like buy new bikes, have like six bikes in the garage. I have three, I got a problem. Right, you can have tons of bikes for the amount of G. We good. So, which one? Do we go right or straight? Well, if we're looking at it, I guess that means that's the way we're going. Yeah, isn't that wild of all things? We just see Rick running through. <laughs> If we would have got here 10 minutes earlier, we would have been bullshitting with him. 